Good morning, Paula here in my pantry with Paula's Pantry Post reminding you not to kill those you love that you are living with. That's right. You have been living with the same people for quite a while now and there's a chance that you want to kill them, but that would be bad. So please don't do that because we can do hard things. Um, right before this all started, right before we were sheltered in place, like probably about a week, week and a half before this happened, my husband, my husband, Matt and I went to a marriage retreat, which was great. We try to do this every couple of years. You know, we try to do a lot of stuff for our marriage. It's really, really important to us to take the time and invest in our marriage. And it's a good thing we did because little did we know we were going to be in the same house with each other 24 seven. Now let me digress for just a quick moment. It just so happens that Matt and I are best friends and we really like spending time together and being stuck in a house together 24 seven really isn't a problem for us because we really like each other a lot and we're best friends. So it's not a problem. I realize it's not that way for all of you. I realize there are some of you maybe even watching this right now out in the world that cannot stand the people you're with <laughs> at this point because you see, we, even if we have a roommate, maybe we don't like, or somebody in our family that we're living with, normally you get a break from them. You get to go to work. You get to go to the movies. You go shopping. Whatever the case may be is you get some distance from them. And depending on your living circumstances right now or your living situation, maybe you're not getting a break. Maybe you live in a pretty small house. Maybe you, the only room you can go to is the bathroom to get away from people. Then your family starts wondering why you're spending hours on the toilet all the time. I get it. It can be hard. I personally, I am really, really grateful for the people that I'm living with right now. Um, we've kind of come full circle. I'll be honest. At first it was hard because Matt and I were by ourselves. We were now, we were at the point where we were empty nesters. All three of our kids were in different colleges and Matt and I were by ourselves and it was great. We were getting into the swing of things. We kind of loved it. You know, nobody around, you could walk around naked if you want, whatever. Suddenly two adult children moved back home. We had two new roommates and for them it was equally as hard because they had been living, you know, on campus by themselves. And yes, I do have three kids in college. One has not returned home. He is still living um, with his roommates. He had an apartment off campus that he was living at, but the other two have moved home. And it was hard for them too, but we've kind of come full circle. And now we kind of, uh, well, I know the kids, they really appreciate the situation right now that they're living in. And we all kind of get along and hang out. And thankfully we all have our own rooms where we can get some space and distance for each, from each other, but we get along and that's good. And for those of you, who maybe weren't getting along before all of this started. I see you and I hear you and I'm really sorry because this is probably torture. And maybe there's some of you out there who you did get along with the people in your house, in your quarantine home. But after almost two months, you're starting to get to the point where it's like, I can't stand you. Do you know why? Because at this point, we all know what everybody's annoying habits are. When you're around someone 24 seven, you start to realize all the things they do that annoy you. Those little habits and ticks and nuances and sounds and smells and all the stuff that they do. That's just so annoying, but you gotta love them anyway. So we just have to have some grace for each other and understand that it's not easy for everybody. It's not just you. It's not just you that's having a hard time. We're all having a hard time. So if we can just have a little grace and when those people you live with are making sounds and smells that you don't like, you go for a walk or you open the window or you go hide in the bathroom and sit on the toilet for a while. Or maybe they need to go sit on the toilet for a while, whatever the case may be. We can do hard things. We can. I know it doesn't feel like it. You may even be having a day where you're like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to kill them all. I'm done. Deep breath. We can do hard things. Go make a cup of something warm and put whatever you want inside. It doesn't just have to be tea. I love you. You're doing great. Keep going.